going on guys just out here doing a one-time check got the old testo smart probes hooked up uh, we're running this thing in heating because it's only 46 degrees outside this morning with some pretty crazy temperature changes so we're running it in heating with our pressures right now 112 385 running 26 degrees of subcooling numbers are fluctuating a little bit because it's really windy out here so hopefully you can hear me but on these Bryant systems they have a heating charge chart on here. Again, this is an 042. So basically what you do is our indoor dry bulb is 70 degrees, our outdoor dry bulb is 46. So you're basically gonna map it out, your indoor dry bulb and our tonnages. So we're gonna go down to 042 and we're sitting at 70. Then we're gonna go over here. We're at 46 outside, so we're gonna use this column. Then we're gonna plot that out. Go down to 70 and should be running a 112 and a 374 in a perfect world of course and come back over here 112 387 so we're pretty pretty close again 26 degrees of subcooling so everything is looking looking pretty good on this thing so but loving these smart probes uh, just wish I would have gotten my hands on them earlier Got my little swivel tee on here just to make it easier to connect here because of this car flex coming down in the way. Um, but yeah, the smart probes are working great. Can't say enough about them. Um, really, really loving these things. So, and I can record my data and everything on here, do my trending, do all that good stuff on here. So, um, yeah, really, really enjoying these. Can't say enough. Highly recommended. Um, there's all kinds of smart probes and tools and things like that out there um, But for the price and what these are capable of It's a no-brainer for me But uh, just wanted to get a little bit of this on video. So thanks for watching like comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one